Your adoring boyfriend says no blackberries in bed. House rules. Well, you know I don't like rules. You realize you're the only man who could pry a PDA from my grip and keep me laughing at the same time. Well, I do my best. I was so worried the morning bubbly might fall by the wayside once we lived in the same city. Speaking of which, I think I saw something under the bed. These aren't even in the stores yet. Yeah, well, they are in Milan. Oh, Ben, it's a perfect fit. I'll wear them to my party tonight. Well, I have a special surprise for you tonight. It'll show you and everyone else how much I love you. Oh, a surprise. Don't torture me. I demand a hint. Okay, um, it's beautiful, rare, and goes perfectly with your sparkling eyes. You know me. I like things to move fast. To break that, we're all gonna chip in and pay for it. It says handle with care. Good. Don't worry about that. It's just a priceless antique. Hey, I saw that. We need to talk about my party. That is, if you could find the energy fresh off a one-night stand. Oh, it wasn't a one-night stand. Well, you keep telling yourself that. Anyway, we need to hire a new caterer. I thought we hired the caterers from Gwen Stefani's birthday party. Yeah, and then I fired them. I told the party planner, I don't care if it's trendy, you don't put cotton candy on foie gras. Okay. I know someone who will be perfect. Don't worry, Amanda, your reintroduction to the A-list will be flawless. Well, today happens to be about more than impressing and intimidating L.A.'s power elite. Now, Ben mentioned that he's planning something special. Let's just say he's a grand gesture kind of guy. I want to make sure nothing goes wrong. Is it possible that he is going to slip something sparkly on that finger of yours? <sighs> Ella, I'm your boss. My personal life is none of your business. I trust that everyone in the building is coming today. Well, my fellow courtyard dwellers are more of who's that than who's who. <laughs> well, inviting them was the neighborly thing to do. I want them all there. Make it happen. Hey, Jonah, it's Ella. Um, I never heard back from you about the party tonight, and, well, I was wondering if I was going to see you. I know how much you love an open bar. Oh, wait. No, 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 not this. So, call me back. Okay. First the fig, then the duck. Dab of creme fresh. Garnish with a crispy sage. You got it? Oh, my God. We have got to get you on top, chef. Then you could introduce me to Padma. You good? I don't need to get you to say the alphabet backwards. Go on, finish it off. It's more where that came from. The tap. I'm sorry to get all Dr. Drew on you. It's just after seeing Caleb get summarily canned right in front of me, I'm still a little shell-shocked. Don't worry. Tonight will be perfect. Good. Because I think I spotted a guillotine in Amanda's penthouse. Watching heads roll is probably up there with snuffing out careers and tasering her enemies in other regions. I hear she bathes in the blood of virgins and can kill a man with a pinky finger. Hi, I'm Ben. I know who you are. Born in Buffalo, bartended your way through Stanford, founded Ziggurat Software, bought an MBA team, and started a charitable foundation. <laughs> You're Ben Brinkley. You're dating my boss, and you just heard every word I said about her. Well, you only left out that I'm fluent in Klingon and have a bona fide fear of pigeons. Is that a case of Parker 100 point wines? You know your vino. I just had a big time geek moment in my wine cellar. Boy, I could stay down there for days. Wow. I've only seen these. I've never tasted one. This would go great with the wild mushroom ragu. Yeah, yeah, it would. There you are. I see you've met my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Not formally. Ben Brinkley. Ella Sims. Funny, Ella was just talking about you. Oh, behind my back? I want details. Well, she was just mentioning, uh, the countless ways you motivate and inspire her. <laughs> Very true, Miss Woodward. Very good. Oh. 
Floral arrangements have to release in them, which is my least favorite flower. I'll tell the party planner. Give me five minutes and there will not be a lily in sight. Oh, no excuses, just quick thinking. That's a very valuable asset in our line of work. Amanda, this is your night and I will do whatever it takes to help make it perfect. Your focus and your ambition remind me a lot of myself. I don't know what to say. I mean, you're... You're my idol. You have it all. A, a thriving career, an amazing man in your life. Well, sometimes things have a way of falling into place. Listen, Angelino Magazine is going to be running a full page of photos. I better not see lilies in any one of them. Done. And thank you for trusting me. No, loyalty is rare in this town. Get ready to be trusted with a lot more. Violet! Riley? Oh, what a surprise. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, it was Amanda's idea. I'm just the carrier pigeon. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna go get some food. Of course you are. <laughs> hey, what does this remind you of? What? The bar, the pool, the fancy little food. Um. I'm a guy who writes code, not speeches. But Amanda Woodward is a woman who inspires words. Fearless, whip smart, and in computer programmer parlance, uh, way hot. <laughs> so this being Amanda's official welcome back to Los Angeles, uh, I would like to present her with a little something. I'd like to be the guy that gives you what's best in life. Ben. I'm buying you. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you. I wanted to assure you that nothing inappropriate was going on. It was just... Well, Ben sensed that you didn't like the car and wanted to know if he should go with his backup gift. So he asked me to try it on because he needed to know if it was too much. That was it, okay? I promise you that you can trust me. Ella, in what universe would you think for one moment that I was threatened by you? I wasn't implying... You either. were, and it's presumptuous. I mean, you're a, a junior publicist with a barely there career, a nobody in this town. I know. I, I'm sorry. You may fancy yourself my protege, but let's be honest. You don't measure up. I mean, you have enough flash to catch the eye of Ben or any other man for that matter. But they don't stay long, do they? I, I wasn't trying to. Oh, come on. No one wears a dress that short without an end game. Is everything okay over here?